Welcome to the BYU Family History Library. This video provides instructions for using the TASCAM TIAC Professional Division CC222 CD Recorder Cassette Deck to convert the content of audio cassettes to a compact disc or CD. Transferring the contents of the audio cassette to a CD disc effectively digitizes the analog audio recording into a digital format that can then be transferred to a computer with a DVD slash CD drive. Before explaining the details of the digitizing process, here are some of the general instructions. The BYU Family History Library has a very useful collection of electronic equipment for scanning and digitizing books, documents, photographs, photographic slides, 8mm and Super 8mm movie film, VHS cassettes, 8mm video cassettes, audio cassettes, and Betamax tapes. All this equipment is available for use by patrons of the library free of charge during the time the library is open. However, it is best to contact the library through its website and click on the link to the scanning equipment page to check equipment availability. If you have a BYU login, you can then use this page to reserve a time to use the equipment. If you do not have a BYU login, then you can see the times available for using the equipment and contact the Family History Library help desk to make a reservation. Please be aware that some audio recordings are protected by copyright law. You are responsible for determining if any specific audio you transfer is covered by some country's laws. Becoming aware of the copyright restrictions that apply to the audio you are interested in digitizing is an important part of being a responsible family historian. If you need assistance with your cassette, CD, or the operation of the TASCAM recorder cassette deck, please ask for help at the help desk. The TASCAM CC222 has many more functions than copying cassettes to CDs. You can find your complete instructions on the Digital Owner's Manual that is available online. There are four types of audio cassette tapes, ferric type 1, chrome type 2, ferrochrome type 3, and metal type 4. The TASCAM CC222 will copy from Type 1, Type 2, and Type 4. You may wish to determine the type of cassette tape you have before trying to transfer your audio files. The TASCAM CC222 will record to CDR, CDRW, CDRDA, and CDRWDA discs. The BYU Family History Library has no way to supply blank CDs for digitizing from your cassettes, so it is necessary for users to supply their own blanks. Blank CD discs may be hard to find locally, but are still available for purchase online. You may wish to become familiar with the types of CDs before purchasing new ones. Some CDs cannot be erased and can only be recorded once. The TASCAM CC222 has an audio out port that will support headphones to verify the settings and to make adjustments to the volume before beginning the digitization process. The BYU Family History Library can supply in-the-ear and over-the-ear wired headphones for use with the equipment, but you may wish to bring your own over-the-ear wired headphones for your comfort. The equipment and computers in the BYU Family History Library do not support Bluetooth headphones. The process of copying the audio from one file to another is called dubbing. Copying an audio CT to your computer is called ripping. Both PCs and Macs can rip audio CD files. Here is a diagram of the front of the TASCAM CC222. You may note that there are 41 separate controls, 
but only a few of them are used in the transfer. The power switch turns the equipment off and on. You open the cassette holder using the eject key. Insert cassette tapes side downwards and close the holder by hand. The rectangle indicates the standard audio controls. Rewind, fast forward, stop, play to the left for double sided tapes, play to the right, pause, record, and eject. The display provides information on the status of the cassette and disk transport and the selected input sources. The reset key resets the tape counter to zero and the RTZ key returns the tape to the zero position. Repeated presses of the input button or input to SEL cycles between the different input sources available for the cassette recorder. The dub one tape to CD RW key starts the process of automatic recording from the cassette to a recordable disc. Repeatedly pressing the input one select key or SEL key cycles between the different sources available for the CDRW drive. That is line one, phono, tape, optical, and coaxial. All these functions will not be covered in this video because they are bypassed by the tape to disc dubbing. You can find instructions for these keys in the user's manual. Input CD controls affect the sound level fed to the disc. Note that it has no effect during the automatic tape to disc dubbing if the menu item bypassing the volume during the dubbing is set to through. The open-close key opens and closes the disc tray. The display key changes the time displayed for the disc recording and playback. Even though audio data can be written or recorded on a CDR or a CDRW disc, standard CD players will not be able to play back the audio file until a final table of contents has been recorded or written at the beginning of the CD file. The finalize key is used to finalize or add the table of contents to the CD. The following keys are not used in the dubbing process. The erase key, the sync rec key, the menu key, the multi-dial remote sensor window, and the pitch control knob. Cassette tapes can be recorded on two sides. If your cassette has been recorded on two sides and you want to record both sides, you will need to make the selection from the REV mode, REV mode switch, which allows the selection of single side, bidirectional, or continuous playback while dubbing the cassette tape to the CD. The Dolby NR off on switch turns the Dolby noise reduction off and on for the cassette deck. The CD tape cont play, C-O-N-T play switch, CD timer off play switch, CD play key, CD pause key, and CD record key are not covered in this video because they are bypassed by the tape to disc dubbing. You can find instructions for these keys in the user manual. The monitor tape one slash one plus two slash two disc switch selects the source for the headphone outputs as either the cassette deck, the disc recorder, or a mixture of both. The phone's jack and volume control connect a standard pair of stereo headphones. To start the dubbing process, load the cassette tape with the side that will be recorded first to be played first then load a recordable disc. Use the menu key to set the dubbing volume to through to bypass the input level control. Press the dub one key and the CD will go into record ready. The cassette tape will rewind to the start of the tape. The cassette tape starts playing back and the CD recorder starts recording on the available CD. A recordable disc must be loaded in the drive 
and a cassette in the tape deck for the dubbing to work. When the available recording time on the disc is finished or the tape has stopped playing, according to the reverse mode setting, whichever is the earliest, the tape will stop and recording will stop on the disc. You can also stop the dubbing process by pressing either of the stop keys. Those are the only keys which will work in the dubbing mode. To make the CD playable, the disc must be finalized. With the unfinalized recordable disc loaded and the unit in stop mode, press the finalize key. The display shows finalize OK. To start the finalizing process, press the multi-dial or press the enter key. If you do not want to proceed with the final process, press any other key, such as the stop key. If finalization has been chosen, the display changes. The no TOC or no table of contents indicator goes out and the word TOC or table of contents and the rec indicator flash in the display. The unit starts counting down from a time shown on the display, about 1 minute and 10 seconds. After finalization, the display showing a CDRW, no TOC or table of contents, changes to CDRW and a CDR, no TOC, changes to CD. You can now eject the CD in the cassette tape and begin the process with a new tape and a new disc. If the tape ends before the CD is full and finished recording, you can add additional cassette tape files to the CD. You may also wish to review your CD to make sure your entire cassette tape or tapes were completely recorded. If you need assistance, please ask at the help desk. Once the CD files are loaded on a computer, the files can be copied, edited, and the sound improved with computer audio editing software. As previously mentioned, there are many more functions of the Tascam CC222. You can learn about these functions from the user's manual. We thank you for your interest in using the equipment in the BYU Family History Library and hope that you will take advantage of the opportunity provided to preserve your ancestral heritage. Keep learning, and thanks for watching.